Hey guys, in this video we'll cover understanding local versus global coordinates. Quick reminder, this lesson is from our complete Intro to Blender course that we're offering for free for a limited time on YouTube. If you're new here, I'd recommend starting at the beginning of the course. I've added a link in the description. Alright, go ahead and open up Blender and let's jump right in. To begin this lesson, let's start a new file. So go up to your file menu option and pick new, general, and as usual, you don't need to save the changes to the previous file unless you want to come back to it. In the new file, you have the default cube again. And this is going to be a brief lesson talking about local versus global transformations. So we have the cube selected here. And if you go up to the top, you see this little icon here and it says global. Go ahead and click on it. And you'll see there are several different options for the transform orientations. We're just going to talk about the first two, global and local. But for a moment, just click off in space. So by default, you have global transformation orientation turned on. So what does that mean? Well, that means go ahead and select the cube and then press G for grab and then press X. And you're now moving as you move your cursor. You're moving this along the x-axis, press Y and you're changing to the y-axis, and press Z and you're in the Z direction. And these are the global or world directions. Hit the escape key on your keyboard to let that go. So the world or the whole space of this 3D viewport, th these are the global coordinates. So this is the X, Y, and Z directions for the global coordinates. Hey everyone, we're doing something a little unconventional here, and for a limited time, we're giving you access to one of our paid courses for free right here on YouTube, and this lesson is a part of it. Blender is a beast of a program to learn, but with the right approach, it doesn't have to be. That's why we created Blender Academy, to help people build the Blender skills they need and then go out and get the jobs they want. We hope you find these lessons to be a good investment of your time. If you do, and you're serious about learning Blender, head over to our website and continue learning with us. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. And now, back to the lesson. Now, what do I mean when I say local, when we flip down this menu and we talk about local? Well, before we cover that, it'll be easier if we've done something to the cube first. So go ahead and select it if it's not already selected. And then over on the right in your object properties panel, where you have rotation, let's go ahead and rotate the Z direction. So go ahead and click on the zero degrees and type 45 and press enter on your keyboard. Now come back over to your cube, make sure that it's still selected, and then come up to the menu where it says global, click on it and pick local. Then you can hit escape to get out of that menu. Now press G for grab, then press Z and you'll notice nothing has changed. The Z direction still seems to be the same. Hit escape on your keyboard. But now try this. Press G to begin moving and press X. Notice the difference in the X direction now. No longer is the X direction going in the direction that we see for the global space. It's now the local space and the local space is really the objects space. So the object is oriented 45 degrees so that now when we think about the direction, the X direction for the object itself, it's along this axis here. Press Y on your keyboard and you'll see that this has also been rotated 45 degrees. So because we, if you think about it as if you were looking down and in the Z direction or about the Z axis, you spun this 45 degrees. So you essentially twisted it 45 degrees if you're thinking about looking down on it. Well now, of course, those axes, the X and Y axes have been rotated by 45 degrees in the local space. So hit the escape key on your keyboard. So this can be useful if you think of this object as being oriented this way all the time. And now you want to slide it along the global axes, then you would go back and pick the default global transform orientations. And now when you press G for grab and then X, you're moving it along the X direction. Hit escape on your keyboard. But if once you've rotated it, you think to yourself, 
let's say this is an object that's now moving in this direction and you want to show it moving a little further along the direction that it's facing. Well, the easiest way to do that is to switch from global to local and then come down here and press G for grab and then press X. And now you're moving it in the direction that it's facing. So if this was something that needed to animate, which we'll talk about much further down the line, if it needed to animate in this direction that it's facing, this might be a way to move it along and then click to set it down in that direction. So just helpful to know that you can switch from local to global depending on what type of transform operation you're trying to do. And while this is a little bit abstract right now, we'll make sure to include this in future examples and lessons so that you can see some real world reasons why you'd need to use it. But for now, you're ready to move on to the next lesson. Congratulations, you made it through the lesson. Did you find this video to be helpful? Let us know by giving it a like. If you're ready for the next lesson, you can find it in this playlist. And if you're interested in learning more about how we can help you build the skills you need, head over to blenderacademy.com. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And until next time, happy blending.